Hey all desserts and welcome to Wildermyth or Wildermyth. I think it's supposed to be a play on wilderness. I'm going to say Wildermyth because it sounds better in my mind. In the interest that I have on this channel of sometimes bringing to you unique and I think worthwhile indie titles, this is definitely one of those. Uh, it pinged off my radar a couple days ago and uh, I basically got into it and kind of couldn't stop. It's, it's very much... Um, all about the story, and it's not to shortchange the gameplay mechanics at all, because it's... You'll see, it's got x comedy tactical combat, but really here is the idea of building a myth, uh, building a story that will kind of last a generation or few uh, in this crazy world in the Yandering Lands. Uh, it's just a really interesting... I, you gotta kind of gotta get into it, I think, to really understand. Just know that the ta combat is tactical xcom like The aesthetic is very much papercraft, which is like the new hotness for indie titles lately, but okay, we'll go with it. Um, and there's a lot there in how the characters evolve and have relationships and understand each other. It's, it's kind of a neat, neat way of looking at it, kind of a more sit back and enjoy it. Also, don't screw up combat because people will die suddenly kind of game, uh, which is kind of right up my alley, so we're going to do it new. I did play through a uh, short campaign, kind of understand how it goes, and that was the three chapters. We'll probably do the same thing here, depending, and at the end of it, you get to you get a legacy. Um, I do have a, something of a legacy here. I think it did save it. I'm not entirely certain if they do save profiles. Yeah, so some folks that we worked with uh, back in the old campaign. Not sure how they play into a new story or not. Um, but definitely some pointers I picked up there, which I'm still learning. And this is the, the, the granddaddy. So we do enjoy the three chapters. I might go ahead and do that. Um, but it's just came out on Ichio, Ichio, Ichie. Uh, it has a potential beta download. And uh, it's it's quite quite worth your uh, your look if you feel like supporting the developers. But anyway, let's jump in. Uh, we'll do it on J.K. Rowling, which is <laughs> like C.S. Lewis, J.K. Rowling, George R.R. Martin, where everyone dies. We'll run it on J.K. Rowling. It's fine. It's hard enough, honestly, if you get a bad roll. Um, moderate pressure is fine, too. Oh, what is this? Classic gets pretty hard. Hard isn't necessary. I'll keep it here because I'm still trying to figure out how things are running, and we'll do the enemies being random as to what our main enemy is going to be. Just so you can get a feel for how this runs. Ah, Valkyrie Squad. I'm going to randomize a little bit. I can pick from a legacy. Ah, now I want new people. We're going to make it a new quest. Two galleys and a dude. Sounds good to me. Athenana, Bordon, and Matidia, it would seem. All right. Yeah, and so they get to pick people from your legacy. Interesting. I'd rather not. And maybe if we'll do that for a harder campaign, we pick from legacy. That'd be probably pretty good. All right, we'll give it a go. Growing the lands. Are you ready? Of course. Mm. Omens. And this is kind of a storyboard happens pretty much before um, major events or decisions or battle, honestly. This is not good. I've got to get Matidia. Getting Matidia is not a simple task these days. She had been noticing a wrongness in the world for weeks. The wildlife was twitchy and aggressive. The crops went blue-tinged and wilted. She had been taking it well. Her cellar had been hastily packed with food and weapons, and still Matidia crammed in more by the day. Now she's getting ready. The girl's a prepper. Still. Kanakata nakata. Matidia, don't make me kick in your door. It's a nice door. Oh, the omens, you were right. Something in the woods is very strange. That's the tagline for the theme of the uh, game. So, it's a very cool thing. I saw something out there today. An animal disease, maybe? It was twist. This was twisting it, growing horrible. Angry raccoon. It wasn't like anything I'd ever seen. There it was, it needs destroying. Diseased. I know I'm paying more attention than the rest of us. And now we need... Athenana Matidia, they're attacking Hamlady. Really? Hamlady is the name of where you live? Really? I'm gonna say Hamlady, but it's totally Hamlady. What? But the mutated animals! Grab what you need and hurry! Verily. I knew it, and I didn't. Police have to get and come be useful for once. Don't be harsh. Not for the people that are from me, come on. Oh, giggity giggity. We'll, we'll stick it, we'll keep this. Ah, let's try to go for it. Why not? Let's be romantic. Let's be romantic. Your lucky boredom puts up with you. Never mind that. See the smoke up there? Uh, and then that was a choice right there. That changes their relationship. So they should be somewhat entangled now. Garu says whatever the hell that horrifying thing is. 
I have my suspicion. Yeah, it's a rose worm. Okay, it's just a deer. Doe, a deer, a female. Ugh. So what do we have? We have a farmer, a farmer, and a farmer. Awesome. We got a bow. Do I have a weapon choice? No, he's got what we came with. So, basic combat for... I don't know where this thing will be, actually. Let's find out. Nope. Haven't found it yet. Save the town. Gotta defeat all foes. Don't need to put out the fires? Nah, the town will burn down. It'll be fine. It's already cooking the meat. It's already doing something good for us. So, being adjacent gives you one DR, effectively. Yeah, yeah. Gonna go crazy. There it is. We found it, Bob. It's coming right for us. Alright, so let's get on some flanky wanky, spanky mctanky. Uh, either that. You, four damage, not bad. Oh, we can't flank. Uh, Bordon. Oh. Bourdain. Bardeen. 87? Hey, the XCOM curse is in here. I'm actually, hit. Oh, yeah, that's right. The first one's like super, super tame. Alright. So, or, so this is now, you have, this is kind of the intro. You now have promotions. Uh, he's basically a warrior. You'll get a spread early on, I'm pretty sure. She looks like she's gonna be the caster, yeah. Warrior and the ranger. You see the woods, the magic stuff, and kind of the chain mail. Or studded mail there. Warriors like Bordon are built hardy, enduring with a natural aptitude for battle, and built powerful techniques for close combat. Here we have. One turn cooldown is a free action. Bordon makes a daring leap up the three spaces away. You master engage. All enemies adjacent to landing tile are engaged. Quite useful. Um, engage. So this is kind of like a taunt. So engage is a taunt. And vigilance, infinite reaction strikes. So this would be good also with stuff like engage or uh, the landing tile. I'm going to grab single engage here because I'm afraid this might make us a little nutty. I think a smart engage would be better. Um, so you are a greenhorn hunter. Every time she kills an enemy, she enters the gray plane for free. That's pretty good. So the gray plane is kind of like stealth. Um, that's actually quite, quite handy. Fox Flight has one speed. Pakama gained 50 dodge, which is pretty solid. Ember Arrows, one damage and shred is hitting by a fire. My blaze fire can't spread onto her. That's not bad either. Though, getting free stealth every time she kills an enemy might be quite interesting. I never got that one before. Ember Arrows I've had. Though they are quite good early. We can't guarantee you'll have a fire. So I'm going to grab Rogue. Um, and so now you have to understand the Mystics are very much, uh, this is what makes this game interesting, I think. Mystics are battlefield dependent. They can only cast stuff by stealing, uh, attributes or powers from the scenery. It'll make more sense later, but, um, they don't really cast spells per se. The channel what's here. Um, Matinia Bonds the Earth, something is seedling and silt, a wondrous tree. I have no idea what that does. I've never seen that before. When Matita takes damage for each interviewed object, one point is prevented and the object takes two damage instead. So this is very good for keeping her alive. Mythweaver, improve and expand infusion for books, statues, textiles, and garbs. Oh, all these sound really cool. This is really good. I've had this before. Uh, this makes more interesting interfusion. Interfusion is how she... You'll see, but it's how the combat works out. Um, and usually statues and art and things like that are quite difficult to interfuse with. You can't do it baseline. It opens up a lot more possibilities. I used to make a tree, I guess? Like, this is so weird. This is probably the most practical one. Like, this keeps her really, really alive. I'm gonna take soul splitting. I know I'm gonna regret that, but I don't want anyone to die, really. Everything changed after that day. Here's of Hamlety. I'm gonna say Hamlety went on to win great renown. They sing of our deeds to courage and quailing hearts. The measure of a bar these days is how many rhymes she can fit to our name. For now, we are called... The Foundlings of the Deadly Poppy. Sounds pretty dope. The Paladins of the Haunted Scorpion or Janiel's Poets. I think this sounds dope as hell. The Paladins of the Haunted Scorpion. That's pretty sick. There were no scorpions, we are not paladins, and for sure as hell not haunted. But here's how you begin. Here follow the tales of the Paladins of the Haunted Scorpion. Be remembered. Which is the goal. Ooh, that's early. Bogmore 1. That's a scary enemy early. That does bananas damage. Yikes. Okay. Okay. Cool. So that's what happens after every fight. Your enemies get stronger. Clear all other sites. Locate Wolf Pier Stand. The Age of Ulistrix. Chapter 1. Okay. So the idea is here you scout around, see what's what. That's where the um, objective is. It's usually marked 
you don't really have to skate it, scout it too much. Mountains are impassable, Oji cannot be crossed. And what you want to do is kind of... Can we scout here? Can't reachable. I need to build a pass. Ah, uh, okay. But nothing can pass through here either. We'll do that later once we've secured most everything else. Alright, let's go ahead and take a look at what's here. Cameron Wood. Let's scout. Bring everybody along. And you'll see the overland um, routine gets pretty clear. Now, I'm actually going to go immediately back here and recruit. We're going to send everyone back because we need to train this person too. I'll grab you. A Rothwain Warden Grin. She is a farmer with a giant stick. Done. I'll grab her. Recruit her, please. And here's a little text. Watching for trouble. Got plenty of that already. Just, I'm gonna totally Geralt her out. Got plenty of that already. Just watching. You ever feel like you're born in the wrong place? You look around the lives of your friends. She's way more raspy than she should be, I guess. They seem happy. You can't for the life of you understand why. You hold the family shovel, the loom, the cooking pot, none seem to come alive for you. Yeah, it's a fucking loom or a cooking pot. My weapon came alive for me. Connect with me with something bigger than myself. No matter how many beatings I take, I'll be forever grateful for that. And that sounds wonderful. You can't find a place in that world. Got a good feeling about it. I can give you a rundown of the basics, see where it goes from there. I'm gonna grab a second hunter here. Quite useful. One tank and two DPSers and one specialist is kinda how I how I see it right now. So mm-hmm. Rothwain. Training you as a hunter. So we gotta wait for her to train out, and that's currently being undergone. Now we can actually finish the Oh, you can only train with one person anyway. Alright, so we're gonna have finish the scout with the two people that are remaining. Done, do it. I thought we could train with more than one. It was my mistake. We could have just finished scouting earlier. We'll have them all gather here and eventually. Yep, okay, so now we have her ability. So, ambush. Shot has not sprung. Rothwain loses the attack at the beginning of the turn, I'm assuming is what it's trying to say. This is kind of like an overwatch, which you don't have baseline. Uh, warriors have it in melee. Phantom Flare, Eye Catching Flame, enabling flanking attacks the enemies caught in the radius, which is really good. Flanking is 100% uh, likelihood to hit, which is very important, especially later on. And for those flash coming that dazzles. Your potency. Your potency won't be that high. They're kind of in between. Potency is kind of like a magic attack, as I understand. Again, not fully explained, but that's my understanding. I'm going to try to grab Ambush. Might be able to make good use of that. Um, you all go there, too. Get on that. Done. Move them over here so we're joined up. Finish the scouting quickly. One fateful night. Now, the story I told you. Every major decision, there's a bit of development here. Something about that rock makes me shiver. A tall black finger of stone angles out of the earth. Points points to a blo pale bloated moon. That would be pointing. That screwed threw me off there. Its surface should shine, but the stone seems to eat all light. It looms dull and terrible. Which stone they call it? Blacker and stonier than the blackest stony stone. Yeah. It's said if you don't offer it a joyous memory, it'll lay a curse on your back. If we don't keep going, it'll be Borden's curse instead. Oh shit. Let's do it. Recollection perfect to the boy whose heart she once stole. Oh dear. I held him to me, cheek to cheek. Our tears mingled. The sunset faded. Remember fields below us were crowded with wild orchids and white... Anis! Anis, you sick bastards. We swore that no matter what the world might take from us, we would remain whole and wounded. Unwounded, as long as we remain together. Sorry. <laughs> butchering this, aren't I? Wait, what was I saying? Oh shit! It's for reals. Stone is at black as a whole in existence. Sated. Harsh. So nothing here, oddly enough. Okay, that's strange. Normally that's not the case. That'll be a problem later. How long does it take to build a pass? To build a pass will just take time. Not right now. Let's do it. I'm going to probably do it from here because it'll be more central to control and less invasions potentially from here. Things do get invaded. Let's build a pass here, actually. Or should we do this later? Nah, let's not go crazy. Let's just start exploring. Oh, well, we still can. Let's go. I'd be curious, actually. Hold on one second. I want to see what that changed for her. Uh, young lady. Please. Thank you. Any particular relationship she lost? A crony. So they're, they're friends, obviously. They grew up together. Peer. Matidia. Peer? I thought you were going to be romantic. Really? 
And these obviously change your um, relationships here. So you get plus five stun chance when walling, which means you're adjacent. Here is plus two block and dodge when you're separated, which is weird, because I thought they were supposed to be together. Uh, up here, and no relationships right now. That was odd. All right, I thought we started them on a romantic track, but I guess not. Maybe I don't understand the system either. Maybe it's not a guarantee, let's be honest here. Nothing is certain. Grain stand has been revealed, there we go. So now this is kind of your usual rotation. Um, let's all go into the battle. Let's assault. Steely Lady Stack. Now, Ham Lady, now Steely Lady Stack. This is all like Lady Smith Black Mombasa going on here. The path forks up ahead, it looks like there's a sign. Finally, we walked in circles long enough. Hopefully it tells us how much longer it'll be till we get where we're going. What's it say? Do not enter. Do not enter. Well, that's not helpful. Why not? Maybe it's like something amazing. The scientists to throw us off course. Or maybe it's a trap. We can't leave it for others to fall into. We don't really have time for this. I'm gonna be fuckiest here. It'll remain a mystery. Let's go. Bed was piles of gold. Not a single coin for me now. I mean, us. Come on, Othanana. Need more forks in our path. I'll, I'll fork you real quick. To explore to finish this mission. Hell yeah. Oh, don't be so sad. Hmm, looks like we moved this way, but we have moved on. Guess the Miz and I won't have, be having adventures to tonight after all. Oh! Okay. That's creepy. Alright, so we just avoided man eaters. Mm hmm. So two Dweavers and a Thrusk. Am I going to Thrixel again? The last campaign was against a Thrixel. Alright, so d this is a mage. This is how it works. So basically here, if I interfuse with this Bone Loom, I get the ability to do a Bone Lance, which shoots a long, cruel lance of bone to impale enemies, which is pretty solid. The problem is it goes directly through, and if we at the door, it's going to be a problem. I can also interfuse here for Calcify, which one armor and one warning, which is definitely what I want to do. Grab that. And now she's got one armor, one warding, which is like, um, magic armor as I understand it. What else do we have here? Another bone lance, and another calcify. I'm gonna be able to actually cast spells at some point, so I'm gonna just save that one interfusion for now. Looks like we're going into crowded terrain. Fine. Now the good thing about... What are you rocking as a weapon? What are you rocking as a weapon? What do you have? Gear. Lumber axe or club. Any of them a shred? You have shred. Enemies have armor, and shredding is very important. Wield is basically how easily they can block your stuff. Um, I think we... Knockback's not important. I should rather have him cl close to me, and with a, uh, a lumber axe. I'm actually gonna go switch. Early, uh, on, you can switch if you haven't taken any actions yet in your first turn. No attacks. Uh, rangers slash hunters can do it on the fly, which is why I like them a lot. And silk step is go stealth. Ambush, no point here. It's a very tight map, so I don't really see a value in it. And the turn here before we crack open the door and see what's behind door number hell. Okay, we got a Thrusk. That's not bad at all. So, Bordon, get on over here. This is going to be a really easy one, though. Solid. We're just going to make sure the Dweavers are actually broken apart. Because I don't fancy dealing with them at once. They can really put down the damage if you're not careful. Especially early on. Early on, your guys are really fragile. It's very XCOM-like in that respect. Uh, later on, you have... See here, for example, books. If I took the other one, I would be able to do Scalding Rain, which is actually really strong. So I kind of got um, very conservative. But again, I like my guys being alive. So that's, I guess, the choice I made. Um, maybe next time I should probably try something... A little... Well, next time we get a cool choice, I'll probably do it that way. I just felt like some survivability early is good. I'm just going to end this here. No reason to rush here. There's no particular timer on this one. So, alright. I'm going to get on up here. Borden. Go and uh, we'll make sure it engages with Borden so it always attacks him. Sees our tank. We'll eventually get armor. That'll be something resembling armor. Now, can we interfuse with anything interesting here and make a blow up? Yeah, Splinter Blast, for example. So there you go. We're going to interfuse here. And we have an ability now called Splinter Blast with the AoE of this object. And we can do two damage to this thing with an 87% chance likelihood. Boom. There we go. Success. Which is great. And now you are... Now because he got shot from here and here, he's flanked at 90s. So all my shots have a guaranteed 100% chance to land. You can see it by this little flare uh, where we stand. So we're going to go right there. Take a nice swing at his face for four. Guaranteed. And Athanana will draw the finishing blow here. And finish off four. Looking good so far. 
And these things do get potent, mind you. It's not great. And she gets free hidden, which is sick. Amazing. All right. So that's we can use her to scout pretty effectively. So most enemies that are basic um, don't simply don't see enemies that are hidden in the gray plane. Enemies that are higher tier, they uh, they can at times. So I just made her go into Stilk Step, makes her go hidden on uh, on purpose there. Um, so we got to stay in the cover, otherwise they'll spot you just like you would in like Thief or any other basic stealth mechanic games. So Borden, go here. Yeah, the Nana. Uh, we'll deal with you in a sec. Rothwin, go over here. She's coming. All right, end turn. She'll still be good here. So, Roth and Nana, crack that door. There we go. So, we got a Dweaver. Okay, we can't quite get there, which is a bit of an issue. We can do. It's forced to engage. Yeah. And then we can guard, which will give us a, basically an Overwatch strike from melee. Is the idea. And since we're engaging it right now, I'm pretty comfortable coming up here and know that it won't attack my archer. Which is solid. Now again, it has one armor, so it did reduce the damage. Um, so you're engaged already. Let's engage it. Did we do this already? We did, yeah. So we're gonna guard now. Come on up here. Swing. Nice. It's working. Maybe we get to. Uh, we have a kill shot here. Interfusion we can do. Ah, Splinter Blast. We might actually be able to pull this off. Let's see, can we do Splinter Blast? Yes, we can. No, nope, we can't. We shred an armor with this. Ah, if I led with this, I would have killed it. And he blocked it anyway. There you go. So, not a guarantee. Guarding attack. Four damage, though. There's a watch that we needed. Now, that might have been overthinking it, but trust me, I've lost someone on the second combat because, oh, God, you're putting the big nasty stuff in right off the bat. Oh, hey, friends. All right. So what you can do is secure sites, which allows you uh, to kind of gain these benefits at the end of the uh, mission, or of the chapter, rather. Uh, now, this one would be good because you get a lot of lore and some spell threads, but right now, since we're all healthy and it's just time is what it takes to heal, we're going to go ahead and scout out something else, uh, like Splint Challed Field. So let's all go scout out. i got to be careful about invasions coming from here. Let's see what's going to happen. Has been revealed. We have Gorgons here. So let me Gorgons might be our main enemy. And again, we got spell threads and cloth. So let's go ahead and assault this if we can't claim it for our very own. Let's rock and roll. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm done. That is definitely the same sheep. What sheep? We're stopping for sheep now. Oh, she totally got the girl face on, right? That sheep. See? It's got a dark front leg. Go against circles. Sorry, Rothway, we've come past the sheep four times now. No, we haven't. I know where we're going. Just up over this hill. You said that the last two hills. Just admit it, you're lost. This guy's like, I'm gonna sit back and watch this. Lost. There's no way we're lost. I know exactly where we're going. Where there's a sheep, there's a shepherd. Let's let's be practical here. Sure, whatever. Go talk to some farmer. Be here when you get ready, when we're ready to get back to our mission. Well, it turns out this path just loops around the field and lands us right back here. <laughs> Good news is, the path we really want is right over there. Really? Yes, really. <laughs> Aw, snap. Okay, this is scary. This guy's not a fun enemy. Grab ya, bite ya. Corrupted raccoon spire spikes from their tails, and that deer that we killed. Okay, there's a raccoon right now. And we can't force it to engage. This could be a scary fight. Bogmoors are no joke, man. Alright, um, let's try to get this on the flank and maybe we can confuse it enough to do something funky. Good hit. If we can get another shot, I'd be pretty content with that. Not a flank, though, so this is 50-50 this is at best. Alright, 86, but... Knew it. It's uh, Sorry, it's my XCOM luck. It is 50-50, let's be honest here. Cows fight. Let's just get some, um, we'll get some warding here. Rothwin probably the one who gets shot. Uh, that's annoying. And we'll be a little tankier. You go ahead and, I don't have really much of a choice. Just guard. Zero damage, one block. That was the calcify. Thank you. This is why we interfuse wisely. And this thing took some of the damage? Yeah, it took two of the damage. Otherwise, it took in three. This is why we took that ability to have interfused objects take damage. Alright, you go ahead and deal with the raccoon, please. 
I would in three. That wouldn't half your health or almost half your health. For my Mystic, it is half her health, I think. Yeah, so, like I said, reasons we took that. Now I'm glad we took it. If it, the fights turned out to be pretty tame, then I'd be like, ah, we should have done more interesting interfusions. But, uh, yeah, it was it was worth it. I am not regretting this at all. All right, so we'll wait for taking another interfusion um, that might be more interesting. Later. We're waiting for Athenon to just stay here for now. You'll be behind. Vordon, get on here. We'll use you to open the door. I just want everyone to be uh, walled up. It doesn't stack by any stretch. It's just I want to make sure everyone's walling to so minimize damage. Okay, so the deer is fine here. I'm happy not to find the Gorgon yet. You take a swing at this thing. Nice shot. So if I can just Guardian up here, this deer's a melee unit. I'll probably be safer than doing anything with the, with the Gorgon. It's too dangerous. Tentacles? What the hell was that? Stone tentacles. What do you... Can you interfuse with that? Calcify. Another calcify. Statue. See if I had the other one, I'd be able to do that. Grain grinder barrage. That could be good. Grain bags give us engulf. Let's interfuse with the... Splinter blasting barrels or workbench or barrage. Let's take this as a priority. I'm assuming the Gorgon will be out there. Okay, so we didn't reveal the Gorgon yet. Or the Bogmore, not the Gorgon. They're all Gorgons. Um, Alright. You're just going to be walling up. Alright. We're just going to hang for now. You just wait. Want this thing to come at us? Oh, it didn't. It didn't actually come at us, bro. Okay. Interesting choice. And the Bogmore's over there. <sighs> Can you interview something more interesting? So it's playing us a little bit. I feel that. You're the one who can go hidden after a kill, right? Rogue, yeah. Okay. So you're gonna go ahead and try to grab this stinky deer and depend on that for some stealth. Perfect. So we go into gray plane. I don't think this thing, if I'm not mistaken, I don't think this oh it is perceptive, so it'll see her. Um well, we're not in cover, so that's not going to be great for us. It's one, this is a higher tier enemy. Uh, we can't force an engage. The best we can do is kind of take some cover. It does have a ranged attack, this thing. Slam 5 to 6. Do you see this crap? This is what I'm talking about. It's, this thing is nasty. No joke, this thing is nasty. We're range attackers. Take some cover behind the range. This is good cover or half cover? Good cover. That's good. <laughs> good cover's doing good. <laughs> Alright, that's the start. What is wrong with you? Halt. Stopped cold. Not sure what that means, but okay. I need you to interfuse something better. I'm gonna withdraw from this. I can't really use it. Withdrawing is free. Interfuse with... Flare. This might, um... Cause him to go... Dazzle? No, it didn't help us. Flare. I can flare him. Yeah. Dazzling, I think, reduces his aim, which is the important thing. Alright, well, let's start moving up on him. You won't die with one shot from him, but you'll be damn close. Yeah, that's what the dazing is for. You gotta be careful with these things, man. They're strong enemies. I'm really surprised it's gotten the deck this early. Normally, you get, like, multiples of weaker enemies, but we got a elite one really, really early, and it's not fun. Okay, there's, the, there's the flank I'm looking for. This is a good job of indicating that, actually. I'm pretty happy about that. I don't have to guess too much. Alright. So that'll work. Haven't had much use for that um, ambush ability, but I think we'll be... Alright. Proper axe. Uh, let's replace the lumber axe with a tier 1 axe, yeah? This is how you get upgraded weapons. You kind of sometimes find them. It's pretty solid. Well, it's over. How are you guys doing? They've all fallen. Never to rise again. We know. Oh, she do. Sorry. Who said that? The hell? Who said what? We know you've been staring at her bum. I guess it was nothing. Thought I was skewered for sure, but she stepped in. We know what you did. No problem. I got your back, sister. I'm all, I'll catch up. You okay, Borden? But I am good. I'll be right back. We know what you did. Can't hide the truth forever. No, we know. It's coming from this tree. 
We know the truth again. Hide it. We know what you did. A telepathic tree knows my darkest secrets because of course it does. What do you plan on doing about it? The ground around the tree's roots start to rumble. From the moist earth, something gleaming emerges. Take it. Take it. What is it? It's a secret. You like secrets. No one doesn't want to do 65% chance of succeeding this track. Or I'm going to grab the sparkle. Come on. Trying new stuff here. Clearing inside the loose earth. Hand close around something and... Oh. Huh? Whoa. Whoa. There you go. Where have you been? Just need to check on something. I'm all set now. Well, we're done here. Let's move out. Borden is inhabited. Ah, it's probably going to end well. Geist brood. Is it just me, or is this one getting way more severe than my previous run on this? Holy crap, that's like a... Okay. So we can go ahead and fix up this dam, I guess. You also find stuff at sites that you fix up. Let's do it here. But some time to make often crest dams safe and productive. Folk want to move in and run it. Working stations provide resource at the end of the chapter. Yeah, you do want to get these. Um, let's get extra lore. Let's go. These all take days. Uh, we can cancel additions, plus one range, and haunt one. New card under Dralvin. I don't really care about this so much. This I'll get rid of, because I don't make enemies stronger, but new enemies is not the biggest deal. That's fine. Never fought these punks before. It's going to be fun. Onward. And those happen from time to time, these calamities, as they call it. We care about invasions coming from places that are still hostile. And it's super tame, though. The enemies are powerful. Oh, there. This place is being infested. Number of minor mysteries often crest damage. Some new lights, some old questions. One fabric, one spell threat, two gorgon lore. I'm not sure what lore does, actually. Um, but we'll go ahead and just... I don't think you can evade past the mountain range. We'll be able to crush it quick. As infested by gorgons and gorgons. Good lord. Let's go ahead and fix this up. Let's get extra lore if we can. 90s travel time. We'll see if an invasion comes out. If we need to deploy to defensive ham lady. I just wanted some ham. Oh, you're just sitting here, and then you guys are coming. What's up? Cool. Two spell threads, two gold lore, two thrixel lore. Okay, not sure what that's all about yet. So let's go ahead and make a pass here now. Make a pass at you. Yep. Right now, let's do it. 63 days remaining. Good God, that's a while. That's a long time for a pass. That's insane. That's a long time. But it's a mountain pass, I guess. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah, about that. No thanks. True Gorgon. Let's not do that. Did I did I select like suicidal freaking difficulty on this one? Those are top end enemies. Like, that's not like Oh, you get an extra little dude. We're just taking too long and things going too easy for us, I suppose. I do not want that in the Gorgon deck, thank you. Lord of mercy. Alright, passageway opens. Done. Scout time. Let's go. What do we got? Hey, we got an ambush because Gorgons are infesting this tile. So this is not actually the completion of the scout. They even spotted us. We'll be here in about two minutes. How do we react? Just enough time to finish sharpening my blade. Do we have to find them? Let's let a fire to set the mood in. I'm cooking a ship. Pull out a fire. It'll be a quick fight. Uh, let's get a little more up in our oomph. This one, I know because I've used this one before. Give us some bonus damage. The Paladins of the Haunted Scorpion are all set. Okay, small ambush. Raccoon and Bogmore. Um, let's see where our enemies are first and foremost, yeah? Um, step on out here. Nothing? Silk step? Raccoon's out there. Okay, so we're gonna try to crash in this general direction and then turn and face the Bogmore. Um, we should be able to get them pretty easy. There's no cover for ranged attacks, which is a little scary. Don't have any good interfusions, I don't think, either. Do we have a Calcify, at least? That's probably a Calcify, actually. Hold on. I do prefer... Yeah, one armor, one warning. That's what I'm talking about. I right, get on up here. Oh, hey, that's the first time I had a weird draw effect on this. Oh, she's a girl with the ambush too. Darn it! They never use the right one. This, this is all on me, honestly. Silk step. Don't do that. 
Stay hidden. So you just guard up. Is that raccoon? Walking into my trap. Don't need to ambush. I do need to bake on tree him. Sorry, that joke never gets old to me for some reason. Good shot. Clean kill on the flank. Clean kill on the flank. Handled. Alright. I'm gonna turn and face the Gorgon. We could escape here, but that's a... It's actually called as a loss. I tried that once. It wasn't very encouraging. Let me get your ass up here. And you're still hidden. Thanks for the free kill. I gotta be careful with you, though. There's cover. No cover. No cover. I guess we are ambushed for a reason. That would be the definition of no cover. So you gotta be a little careful. Wait. Okay, so we're gonna sit out in formation here. Found his ass. Um, young lady Rothwin. Can we please... Oh, no. I didn't play this correctly. This is a mistake. Because I thought my turn was over. And, I mean, I thought she said I had actions. So that's really not good. There's nothing really I can play with. I can, I can leash fire from this. But I can't do it this turn. I have to wait. That's going to be quite bad. Okay, he didn't get a chance to do anything. Can I leash the fire? Steal the fire? And I can leash it later. Or can I interfuse with... I withdraw from this. Can I interfuse with this? And Splinter Blast. Yes, I can. I prefer that, please. Two. Ah, not so much. I need more potency. I need to be more potent. Can I force you to engage? I can. Okay, good. My squishies aren't going to be as squishy. You know, you're pretty squishy, anyway. Could ambush here. But let's see if we can just kill the damn thing and call it a day. What about cover anymore? Let me just focus the... Oh, yes, there's a flank. That's what I'm talking about. I hit that flank, baby. Hit that flank. Ugh. Ugh. So good. Poisons the ground when it dies, by the way. It's creepy shit. Brawl guard. That's what I want. Get some armor up in this beehotch. All right, he's got an axe and some armor. And we're going to call it there for first episode of Wildermyth. I hope you're enjoying this one. Um, for me, this is just a very much an a, um, environmental atmospheric kind of thing. It's actually, the combat is quite fun. Um, you'll see that well, I, I do have some knack for the combat at this point. But earlier on, it's if you try it yourself initially, you will lose people because you just get mauled if you're not careful. Uh, but after a couple necks, you kind of get at it. And then after you get some gear, it, it becomes more understandable. Kind of like XCOM, but anyway. So I hope you're enjoying that. And again, especially for new episodes of new indie stuff that I want to show you guys, uh, by all means, drop a comment if you are enjoying it. Leave a like if you are as well. And then dislike if you don't. I mean, that's totally fine too. And next time, I'll bring you some more. All right. I've been Urs. Thanks for tuning in to Wildermyth, and I'll see you all next time. Till then.